Navigating the 3D view in Mudbox. We're going to start off now. This is a Windows environment, but we can rotate the camera. To rotate the camera, I'm going to hold down the Alt key, and then I am going to drag my left mouse button. Okay, so I'm holding the left key down, and I'm dragging my left mouse button. All right, it's called rotating the camera. I can track the camera by holding the Alt key, and I can hold down my scroll button or my middle button. So I can track it so it goes left and right, up and down. It's tracking the camera. And I can dolly the camera. I can hold down the Alt key, and I can hold down my right mouse button, and I can move it back and forth, and I can move the dolly on the camera. Okay, so uh, notice I could also move my scroll wheel. If you have a mouse of the scroll wheel, moving that back and forth dollies the camera. Now, I can position my cursor over the model into a particular spot, and I can hit the F key. When I do that, it focuses the cursor to become the camera center of interest, so it puts it in the center. So in this case, I can rotate, I can move, and I'll say, all right, let's go over the tail and hit F, and it centers that tail right in the center of the camera's center of interest. I can also hit the letter A. When I hit the letter A, it does a frame all. It repositions the camera so that all visible geometry is within the camera's view. Also, I'm going to go in a little bit here. I can also use my view cube. My view cube can switch between orthographic views, such as the front view. I can hit these rotation angles. I can go to the left view. I can go to the back view. So, And I can use these rotation angles to go around to orthographic views. I can pick on the view cube to go to isometric viewpoints. So these are standard isometric viewpoints here. So you may use those as well. Um, and you also have some tools here in, in the view cube in which you can reset the front, you can make it perspective or orthographic. You can always go back to home. Home is the little uh, button here, and that brings you back to the default view. And you can set up any view you want to be home, if you like. So I can come around here and say, oh, I want that to be home. I can come over here and set this current view as home. So now, when I come around here and switch and switch, I come back here at any time and go back to my home position, which is really nice to have a place to go back to home all the time. So we navigate in the 3D view. We typically use the three main tools we use is rotating, that's holding the Alt key, and holding my left mouse button down, and I'm rotating the view. Okay. My next most popular one is to track the camera. I hold the Alt key down, and I hold my middle mouse button or my scroll wheel, and I move my scroll wheel up and down or left and right. That is tracking. And dolling the camera is holding the Alt key down, and holding my right key, and, or my right mouse, and my right mouse, and moving it back and forth. It goes in and out. I can do that with my scroll wheel as well. So those are the main three navigation tools you'll use all the time.